Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today again with another video. And today, fellas, we are going to get into the art of the reversed leads. I know that sounds kind of weird. A lot of you guys are probably already doing this and don't know it, or you do know it, and you probably want me to shut up. But I'm not. So, uh, basically, what this little concept is like a lot of the times, fellas, especially with the, the recent updates and the ever evolving AI super coverage that most games come down to, basically AI picks now. Um, and so, you got to be able to put the ball in spots and you have to be able to throw the ball uh, to positions where you can click on and you can body up the defender to make the grab you know of course you want to be throwing the open guys but sometimes you know how bad it is it, it, it just happens that way so now that they've improved you know what the boundary how the boundary defenders um react uh to those outside breaking routes or late breaking routes to the outside with those flood concepts you know you have to be able to put the ball right in a spot in between you know, probably over the linebacker or safety and in between that boundary corner or safety because that guy's normally coming down pretty fast. And so a lot of times people lead up, but no, no, no. You have to understand in a lot of situations, you actually want to throw opposite of where the receiver came from. So let's say on a post route, if the receiver's coming left to right, you actually want to throw it probably at a nine o'clock a uh, pass lead on your stick like in this case right here because i had ran out of room with the receiver i actually that was like a six o'clock maybe probably a five o'clock lead on that throw so that means you know i pulled the stick down and back to get the ball to fall a little bit short so that i could click on and, and uh, beat the defender to the spot same thing here instead of leading it to the middle of the field that throw is actually led once again probably at maybe a nine or ten o'clock uh pass lead um and it's just so many different examples of how you can put the ball like right in between the windows right there uh in between those defenders even with sam darnold you know uh just pulling down four o'clock uh pass lead right there put the ball low and outside enough for me to to be able to you know cut down the angle and wall off the defender just long enough to go into the animation to make the touchdown and so a lot of this stuff it's I, it's complicated it's, it's just the way madden is you know i remember the days of you know se slant and you know actually you know just those plays that just automatically work and so uh, of here late you know recently in madden it's, it's positioning. So even against Jalen Ramsey, right here, this is one of my favorite throws. Uh, good old uh, Harry right there. And I mean, just just it's just a good throw. A nice low, uh, that was a probably a four o'clock uh, pass lead on that. Nice holding the lead, good strong throw, and, and just a simple click on body position and rat catch, you know, big yards. You know, even some here, here horrible read, but still, just enough juice on the ball to drop it over that safety and in between that corner right there. Um, even in situations here where you want to throw the ball a little bit short right here, uh, this pass lead is a seven o'clock lead. So, you know, he's running left to right, but I'm throwing it at a seven o'clock pass lead, you know, basically from uh, in the opposite direction. And so what happens is that creates a little bit of drop on the ball. Um, you can control 
um, your low and high throws with just the stick. You do not always necessarily need to use the uh, low touch pass mechanic to throw a low pass. Yeah, there are ways to figure that out. Uh, you want to know, hit me up at coachdc404.com uh, and schedule up. You know, even, you know, in these situations where you don't want to necessarily throw the ball out of bounds, you know, you want to put it over the back line defender, but not out of bounds, you know, where it's JJ. I know y'all are looking for an obscure good time reference right now, but see today I'm not doing that. It's all about business, man. I'm just out here scratching and surviving. Hey, <laughs> never mind. All right. So, yeah. Even in these situations, look at that right there. Just drop it right in the bucket, you know, and, and it's these are good, strong throws. And, and like I said, that pass lead there was not a pass lead that was led that way. That pass lead actually was in the opposite direction. That was like uh, probably seven o'clock at that point. So a lot of times right here is a perfect example, right in the window between the two defenders. You guys play Madden all day long or, or we play, you know, that gets picked off all day long. So even in a situation where the pressure's on, you got the, the corner standing there right there on the spot. But because that was a six o'clock lead where I just kind of panicked and pulled it down, honestly. Um, but I was able to click on and animate <clears throat> via the rat catch to get in front of the smaller corner with the bigger body receiver. And then, you know, off to the races I go, you know, trying to touch the paint there. And, and it's just it's so many uh different facets to this stuff like i said man you guys really want to know what's up hit me up at coachdc404.com um and, and that's what this is basically all about it's it's about us trying to learn to you know better ways to circumvent for what we feel like or what we know for a fact that you know the game is kind of taking away user control i think that's just a, a natural fact you know most games are decided by you know who gets the ai breaks now um you know, if they ever return this game to a, a skill level based game, you know, where you really had to really click on, you know, like, you know, yesteryear, it, it, it would be a funny thing. God. Yeah. But anyway, so right there, you, you see that right in between the two defenders. I mean, just watch right in the window, throwing out the break, a uh, nine o'clock pass lead, meaning back to the left where he's coming from. And then just watch him kind of throw the brakes on because the ball is not led into the next window, the next uh, defender where the linebacker over there is standing. So right there is that's a perfect little shot there of, of what it looks like, really, when you focus in on it. It looks smaller when we're playing. It doesn't look that big. But when you start to really look at this game, it, if you looked at it under a magnifying glass, you would see the, the varying levels that guys are open. Um, it, it's not always, you know, horizontal. A lot of uh, the openings in this game are, are vertical ones, meaning, you know, the depth between uh, behind the linebacker and underneath the secondary guys. And so, like, this is a good example as well. This pass does in no way, shape, form, or fashion look open when I throw it back there from that particular angle. And even at this angle, it does not look open, but watch the ball. This ball is thrown back towards this guy. So that's actually, I think I threw that at maybe two o'clock or something like that. And so, but with, with just enough touch, understand there is a difference between lead, meaning using the stick and touch, meaning using the button. Yeah. Rewind that a hundred thousand times and watch all my ads. <laughs> I said ads. Hey, man, y'all, boy, what am I gonna do with you people, man? Anyway, all right. So, same thing here. It's it's just all about positioning and understanding the throw. It does not always have to be an up throw. And for the love of God, fellas, please stop bullet passing everything. Learn how to touch the ball. The button has the same amount of depth and pressure that the stick has. I'm going to say that one more time so everybody can hear that. The buttons have the same amount of depth and pressure that the stick has. All my session guys, y'all should know exactly what that means. Um, look at this. Like right here. I mean, you, you can't find a better pass in the bucket. Click on. Get to the spot. Get your feet down in the AI defender. 
I wish I had half as much juice as the AI defenders have on this game, man. It would be fun just to just be able to fly out the, the blue from 40 yards away and do nothing. Like, just sit there and watch it. Like my boy always say, he he's like, man, he said, yeah, so the dude got, the, the guy he was playing, the, his computer guy picked the ball off, you know, made a great pick, beautiful pick. Computer guy picks it off. He's running down the field. He starts high-stepping. And he, and he was like, dude, what are you high-stepping for? You didn't do nothing. I don't know if y'all got that. But anyway, all right, so as you see, OBJ right here, great positioning, pull-down throw, uh, seven o'clock lead, pass lead right there. Same thing, even backs right up the seam. These passes seem impossible. They are not. Fellas, we can do this. All we got to do is start playing the right way. Most of the stuff that's wrong with the game is us anyway. It's the way we play, you know. If you get a whole bunch of guys in one spot, who, who all have a, a respect for the and love for the game of football and most people play the right way, man, it's it's the fun thing. They respect each other off the Madden. Yeah, that part too. But it's it's like, it's great. Because see, you can learn this stuff or you can just keep on and be left behind, man. You do not want to be on one of these videos saying you didn't click on. Mm-hmm. Anyway, man, Coach DC 404, hey, man, hit us up. 